Hey, what's up guys, it's Yvonne. And in this video, I wanted to show you how to use the keyword insertion tool here in Microsoft Ads, which is a really cool tool which can save you some time to make your ads relevant and not put in as much work as you would have to by having separate ad groups for different keywords. For example, if you're just starting off a brand new campaign, you just wanna test things out, this keyword insertion tool could be a great way for you to test things out quickly, but still keep your ad relevant. So we're gonna look at this campaign for the purpose of this example called Piano for All. And as you can see here in this campaign, we have a bunch of different themed keywords. So we have one that's Piano Tutorial, and then we have one that's online piano lessons. So they're fairly similar, but there are still some differences between them. Or learn play piano. This could be actually physically learning to play piano as opposed to this one makes it clear that it's online, right? Keyboard lessons, keyboard is different than a full on piano. So things like that, and they, they have different themes, okay? So these keywords are in different themes. So ideally you would want to put them all in separate ad groups, but we can instead use this keyword insertion tool to save us some time and just make it a little easier for us. And here's how we do it. So we're gonna click on add, we're gonna click on create, we're gonna select an ad group, obvious stuff. And then for the headline here, what you're gonna do is type in this squiggly bracket and then click on this keyword insertion. And now what's going to happen now that you selected it is whatever keyword triggered your ad to show up is the keyword that's going to show up here. Okay, so as you recall, we have some keywords that say something like online play piano, learn to play piano online. So if somebody typed in something revolving around learning to play piano online, and that's the keyword that triggers your ad to show up, that's what it's going to show up here in the ad over here. It's going to say, learn to play piano online. On the other hand, if somebody types in learn to play keyboard, and that's the keyword that you have, let's say learn to play keyboard, then that's what's going to show up here in your ad. So as you can see, this could be really cool, really beneficial, make your ad relevant, okay? So you can do that. Now, this is the default text, which means the backup text. So if your keyword is too long, for example, right? Because you still have a 30 character limit. If your keyword is too long, then what you can do is you can enter the backup text that you want to show up. So let's say one of your keywords is learn how to play piano today with without teachers or with teachers. That's too long, that's over 30 characters. So that's not going to show up here in your ad. In that case, the default text will show up. So as the default text, you could say something like, learn to play piano. And then you can make the case for your keyword and for the default text, title case, sentence case, or lowercase. I like to go with title case, as you know, and then you're gonna click on set. And so now what's going to happen is, Whatever keyword triggers your ad to show up is the keyword that's gonna show up here. If it's learn to play piano, if that's the keyword, then that's what's gonna show up here. If it's learn to play keyboard, then that's what's gonna show up. So it's gonna change dynamically, which is why this is a really cool feature. Instead of having to create many separate ad groups with different keywords, let's say you're just starting out, you want something easy, you're too lazy, this is how you would do it. The cool thing is you could also use it in descriptions. So for example, over here, you could say, um, the coolest way to, and then you can add keyword insertion. And then you could say, um, as the default, learn to play piano. The coolest way to learn to play piano, and you can say set. So in your description, it's going to say the coolest way to, and then whatever the keyword is. Now you have to make sure the keywords make sense, right? If, if your keyword says play piano teachers, uh, then this won't make sense. The coolest way to play piano teachers. So if you are going to use the dynamic keyword insertion in your description or maybe in your ad, if you if you want to say something here as well, make sure that it makes sense. So over here as well, you, you could also do something like the coolest way to, but then you, you still have to make sure that it fits within the 30 characters, right? So these are counted towards the 30 character limit, these ones. So you still have to make sure it fits, but that is something you can do. And... That's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. So yeah, you can just use it anywhere you like in the in the in the descriptions and the headlines. Get creative with it. You can say learn to play piano now, for example. You know, so whatever keyword you have, it's gonna add now at the end. Learn to play keyboard now. Uh, find a piano teacher now. Right. Get creative with it. That's something you can do. And then you can click save ad, and that's it. It's gonna be saved. 
And that is it for this dynamic keyword insertion tutorial for Microsoft ads. I do invite you guys to check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ivan where I have over 500 plus videos at this point for different online marketing things, tutorials, tips, tricks, reviews, blah, 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 things like that. Super useful. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.